there is a loser tonight is almost unfair. Yeah, it, look, it's, it's away from the traditional heartlands of rugby, isn't it? First World Cup away from, you know, South Africa, your United Kingdom, your New Zealand, you know, so it's the first one in Asia and first weekend, some of the games, you know, you're looking at you know, New Zealand, uh, South Africa, that's the big one, isn't it? The whole, you know, the number one and number two for me. You forget the world rankings, they are the two formed teams in the world, and that's a hell, you know, some matchup. But, and Barrett, Barrett, with support from George No team have won a World Cup having lost a game in it. What do you say to that? Yeah, well, I guess that's a challenge we'll have to now take uh, here on. You know, our history is there to, you know, to break, and uh, unfortunately, we've put ourselves into a position now, and now we have to fight. Uh, but I think we can't moan about this performance. They really played well. Uh, I think the referee was good, and, and we just have to work really hard. Before I let you go, continue shooting RWC daily. Uh, almost South Africa lost to New Zealand. How did you cope? Nah. Did, 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 did we have to rehash no, this we now? Don't, we don't, we don't. You go do your thing and we'll catch up with you again <laughs> next week. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Republic of South Africa up against Japan. Ivan Drago up against like a, a <laughs> leaner, Rocky. wispier Rocky. <laughs> is that you put it like you never thought of it that way, but it, you, yes, Rocky fall over again, yeah, isn't it? And it it's is. like, can they go to the well again? Japan, I'm not so sure. It's I'm most sure the South Africans are like, they just go about their business, mate. They are. You just look on a 6 2 split, doesn't he? Yeah. On a bench, mate. They're coming to power over looking Japan. Just looking to sledgehammer them. Yeah. We really set opportunity in playing in this amazing occasion, with an amazing stadium, uh, with an amazing crowd, a passionate crowd. I mean, it buoys our guys on just as much as it's going to buoy their, 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 their players on. To play in that environment, I mean, I just get goosebumps just thinking about it. South Africa, Japan, next. <laughs> Of course, New Zealand will be playing England in one semi-final and South Africa will be up against Wales in the other. They kind of match up pretty well, don't they? And it's just no let up, is it? And this, I think we're going to have to, if Wales are going to pull this one off, it's going to have to be their best. Even though they beat Australia, this is going to have to be the best performance they've had. But, yes, yeah, South Africa, Wales, probably two very defensively orientated mindsets and game plans. Obviously, being South African, I'm going to think we're just going to be a little bit too strong for them. I, I think it will definitely be won though by our accuracy at 9 and 10. I think we under pressure uh, the last couple of years to, to, to redeem ourselves uh, and, and now we're at that stage where you know we want to become number one in the world again. And I guess Wales with experienced coach and a coach I rate really high 
uh, and, and a team that's been Grand Slam winner, uh, uh, been number one at the world, in the world at one stage uh, with world rankings, they will have uh, a pressure. Time to do it again on semi-final weekend in Yokohama. This time around, it is South Africa up against Wales. Oh, yes. oh, yes. oh, yes. oh, yes. to the breeze. No problem for Pollock. Goes to bigger and he black dots it. Nudge at the uprights and he remains 100. Okay, closer is an action. Six, three, up. So that was all time points for it at World Cups and you can put another three on the score sheet. Bigger. The margin back. The difference is three. Yeah, pretty tough um, half for Wales, I think. Good half by the Boca. I'm proud of them. I'm gonna pull through in the second half and score some tries. Okay, okay, we're going. Second half. Africa, Somehow weaves it through the line. Still with South Africa. I knew we were going to win. You knew? I knew, I knew, knew. we were going to win. When we return to these blue seats at Yokohama Stadium, it will be the day of the final. How will it play out on Saturday night? So I think for me personally, you know, England probably go into this game as favourites. One thing it one. is most certainly going to be is absolutely attritional from a forward perspective. Um, this is on, we feel the pressure, we, uh, um, we're excited. But we feel the pressure and we've, we've found our ways to handle it and, and, and try to, to work around it. Certainly Saturday will be a, a, a big test for us to see if we can go that last thing. What do you think? Are we going to win? Yeah, we are going to win. Big ball! Pollard with a chip shot nails the first three. general for all of us and I know, I know what it's done for so many guys in the team you know we all have a uh, different uh, things that we love right before but at the end of the day we came together and we made sure that the Springboks and South Africa was the most important thing and we fought for one another and I'm really grateful these are some of my heroes that I'm playing with so yeah it was really amazing. Sia Khaleesi the captain of the team of the year the Springboks.